Hey Creeper Truck fans. Um, this video, I don't really have the truck. I'm not around the truck right now. It's actually uh, in the shop right now. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. I've had a lot of people asking a lot of questions about, you know, well, how did you get the truck? Or how did you get it started and all this stuff? And this is going to be that video, the video that talks about how everything happened and, you know, I ended up getting where I'm at right now. So, um, it started everything back in, uh, well, initially, whenever I first got interested in the Creeper uh, movies, it was uh, back whenever the movie just came out, uh, I went to um, the movies uh, with a girl I was uh, seeing at the time. And uh, after the movie, you know, she was really freaked out by it. And, you know, I, I don't know whether or not y'all picked up on this. I'm very mischievous and I, you know, I've been scaring people in haunted houses since 2003. So I'm very, very, uh, <laughs> I'll get into something in a heartbeat going after somebody to scare somebody, but you know, it's, that's just, it's in my nature. But, um, so, uh, you know, we went and seen the movie and after the movie, uh, we come back here to the house and, uh, we're, uh, I'm walking around the house and I'm, you know, doing the, the whistle. And then uh, whistling like the creeper and stuff, and she got aggravated. But to make a long story short, um, we're sitting in bed, and I I, I made this uh, guttural sound like the creeper when he's smelling somebody. He's like, <laughs> so I did that, and she got mad and told me to go sleep on the couch. So I ended up going and sleeping on the couch for a little bit. And you know, I was, you know, this was after I'd picked on her most of the night about it. And then I'm sitting there and I said, well, just so you know, you're sleeping in there beside the window. So whenever he comes through that window to get you, I'm going to be safe in here. So then next thing you know, she's coming in there, grabbing me, dragging me back in there. So that was, uh, but the, the point is, is that movie terrified her. And you know, that, that thing, that ominous creeper is like, it's a very, you know, very creepy thing. And you know, and I, I, that's what I wanted to play whenever I wanted to, to be scary in, in a haunted house and stuff. So, um, so fast forward to 2003, I'm working for a place. And at the time they were going to do a haunted house fundraiser. So I wanted to play the creeper. So I'm looking around and trying to figure out how to, you know, do this. And, um, so I end up, uh, look, researching, getting on the internet and stuff, and I ended up getting in contact with uh, Brian Pennicus uh, from Makeup and Monster Studios in California. And uh, Brian was really, really nice and talked to me. So whenever I called the first time, he answered the phone. He said, studio something. And I'm like, oh, uh, I, I, I was looking to try to see about getting a, a Jeepers Creepers mask. And then I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we make those. I'm like, really? And I didn't realize that I was actually speaking to Brian. And he actually took... I probably talked to him about 45 minutes to an hour. And, you know, he was very, very, um, you know, helpful with ideas about what to do, how to make the costume and everything. And he just was just a wealth of knowledge. I mean, he made the movies, but I mean, he, he really helped me as far as getting my costume to where it was. And then uh, I ended up buying my first mask and hat, which was uh, this, this costume right here. Um, so I started out with this one. And this costume, you see, if you're on... Uh, if you uh, get on the internet and you type Jeepers Creepers truck, you'll see a picture of the creeper with a hat on standing over there beside the creeper truck. Well, that's this costume right here. And uh, so uh, if you hear a, a dog barking in the background, I got a, a Rottweiler who's wanting to be inside, but I wouldn't be able to make this video because he'd be up here jumping on top of me. So that's why you hear barking outside. So just to get that out of the way. But um, so whenever uh, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but so uh, I ended up making this costume and, you know, I really, you know, you know, and I, and I, I did the fundraiser there. Um, uh, I did the fundraiser at the, where I was working at. And then I had another buddy of mine that, uh, that uh, was working over at the 901, uh, the Nightmare on 901. He told me to stop by. So I stopped by there and I'm cutting up with him and stuff. And they had these huge long lines and stuff. And I'm like, you know, uh, I got there talking to a few people and one of the guys I went to school with and stuff. And I was like, I got a pretty cool costume. If you want me to put it on and scare some people. And they're like, yeah, man, go ahead. So I put my costume on, come walking out, and they just froze. And they're like, oh, my gosh. So I ended up getting the costume and going down there and terrorizing the lines. 
And about now, probably about an hour or so after I've been doing it, they come up and be like, hey, uh, you want a job? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So that's how I first got started doing working queue lines. And working a queue line, if you're not familiar with the term, working a queue line, whenever you come to a haunted house, you have to go through a queue line in order to get in. So to keep the crowd entertained, they put people in, in uh, different types of monster costumes to just scare the crowd and just keep them wound up and stuff because it, 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 it's, it breaks the monotony of just standing there. So uh, I did that, and uh, I did that for several years, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, but in, uh, I, I really wanted to get me a truck, because you know, I, you, what's the creeper without a truck? So in uh, around, I put an advertisement into an old car trader and uh, said I was looking for a 41 Chevy cab over. So I ended up finding one, and I went up to, went way up north uh, in Illinois, met a guy and bought the truck and the trailer it was on and then brought it back. And you know, and I got it, I'm working on it and stuff, but you know, without having a blueprint of something to look at, I mean, I was kind of like, you know, caught between a rock and a hard place. So I um, ended up researching on the internet and I found the number two screen used truck. It was the one that got the most screen time. So uh, I got in contact with a gentleman by the name of uh, Tim Glace and he lived up in Maryland. Well. I emailed him and talked to him over uh, a period of time and eventually, you know, we kind of got to where we're pretty decent friends and stuff and I asked him if it was okay, I'd come up and maybe take some pictures and, you know, maybe some measurements and stuff because I want to build a copy of the truck. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I ended up driving up to Maryland and I met him and he was, uh, he was, him and his family were really nice. And uh, I mean, I got to take pictures with the truck. I got to ride in the truck. And you know, it was just a dream come true to me because you know, I'm, I'm a hardcore creeper fan. So I mean, I got to see the truck. And I'm like, I, you know, and, I, and I'm taking the pictures with the truck and stuff. And, but the funny part about it is I put the pictures on my blog page. And uh, whenever they filmed the movie, they, the creeper didn't really take any pictures with the truck. So the only pictures that existed on the internet were me and the truck. So for years, people have stole my pictures. And if you're looking on the internet and you type, uh, like you see a picture of the creeper standing next to the truck and it says your Uber driver's here, that meme somebody made up, that's me, that's my picture, that's me. Um, so, you know, but I took all those pictures and stuff and then whenever I was getting ready to leave, I said, hey, well, you know, if you ever, <coughs> if you ever um, decide that, you know, you, you kind of want to get rid of the truck, you know, please, um, uh, give me a chance. You know, I'd love to, I'd love to divide. And he's like, well, I'm never going to get rid of it. I said, okay, well, I understand. You know, I appreciate you showing me and everything. So I come back home and, you know, I got really gung-ho about working on my truck. And then it just kind of, you know, got kind of stagnant because I just, I needed more to look at. And it's without having something to look at, you're kind of stuck. So, uh, you know, I ended up working uh, uh, the Nightmare on 901 until they closed down. Then uh, I ended up uh, working at a place called Cursey Valley Spooky Woods up in uh, Archdale, North Carolina. And they're still going now. I'm friends with the, uh, I'm pretty much adopted family up there. Um, and uh, I love the owners up there to death. I've been on vacation with them, done all kind of stuff. Uh, scared the owner's wife multiple thousand times. I'm on her hit list forever. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I, I really love working up, we loved working up there when I was there and stuff. But, you know, uh, I got to working up there and doing different things. And uh, so fast forward uh, a few years. And uh, so eventually they filmed, uh, well, I'm, on, I'm jumping ahead a little bit. So uh, one of the other trucks came up for auction. So it's on eBay. So I just got my taxes back. I'm sitting up there trying to bid. So I'm, I'm start bidding and I'm bidding against this, this other person. Don't know, I have a clue who it is. So I'm start trying to, I'm like, I'm gonna win this truck, I'm gonna win this truck. And this particular truck was the number one prototype truck. It didn't run in the first movie. It, it, it was only used for static shots. So they basically towed it where it needed to and they'd take pictures with it and stuff and they'd move it to where it needed to. But it was painted and everything, but that, it didn't run at all. Uh, so um, I'm bidding on this one and the last second, the other gentleman that won the truck, um, he won it, I didn't. So I was like, you know, I was upset because I really was wanting to win it, but uh, everything happens for a reason. So, um, been a few, uh, you know, a month or so later, and I found there's a website, and the, the gentleman 
Uh, his name's Tom Redimer, and he's out in California. Well, Tom, you know, uh, from a very young age, worked on everything. I mean, he can rebuild a car from nothing. And uh, he took that truck. It was a rusted hole because it, it, it needed a lot of love. It was, it was in bad shape whenever he got it. But he took that truck and tore it apart and put it back together. And the truck that you saw in Jeepers Creepers Part 3 was uh, the number one prototype. He completely rebuilt it, put a modern drive line in it, disc brakes in the front. I mean, it is a very, it's like a brand new truck, except it's, you know, built, you know, it was built, finished, I think, um, 2016, 2017, somewhere in there, whenever they were getting ready. He finished it, and then the, they ended up using it for Jeepers Creepers Part 3. Well, after they made uh, Jeepers Creepers 3, uh, my buddy, uh, uh, Tim Glace, he uh, uh, he ended up uh, deciding that you know he's he's had the truck long enough he's going to sell it. So uh, he put the uh, truck for for sale, and uh, you know and whenever they get back to where I'm jumping around a little bit. So Tom uh, out in California, he's got the truck and rebuilt it, and then I ended up eventually talking him on the phone. So, uh, the first time I talked to him on the phone, I'm like, so, you're a sorry rascal that's got my truck right now. He says, your truck? So, uh, that was one of our first conversations, but I've got to be, he's a really good buddy of mine, and uh, to the point that uh, I've actually uh, flew out to California, I drove the other truck, and I've uh, actually starred in a small little mini uh, feature. It's, it's a vehicle documentary in a mini creeper movie called Fly Trap. If you get bored, you want to see this teaser to it, uh, is Tom uh, Redimer? Uh, it's just his YouTube channel. Says Tom Redimer, and it, it's Flytrap, and it's the 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 um, it's the uh, the little teaser we got. Before, you know, we're gonna release the other one eventually. But uh, if you want to see it, uh, just a teaser. It's it's pretty cool. Um, but I flew out there, and I was the creeper in it, and uh, and we actually got. To, Somebody that talks like the Crypt Keeper to give a little intro on it, so it's kind of cool. But uh, so I've been I'm, I'm friends with uh, uh, Tom, talking to him and stuff. And then you know I go back to talking about Tim selling a truck. It's funny you got three people owning Creeper trucks: Troy, Tom, and Tim. So everybody's a team involved in the trucks. But uh, so uh, Tim is after they filmed and tim is actually in uh, jeepers creepers part three he's one of the creeper hunters he's got the the mustache and the dark hair with a ball cap on it and you see him in a lot of shots uh he was an extra but he, you see him in a lot of shots because he's he was friends with a director so um he's, he's been in some of the other uh movies related to some uh the the creeper um the creeper world uh, but so Tom, uh, excuse me, I'm going all over the place. Tim decides that he's going to sell the truck. So he puts it for sale. And the day before it, the truck goes for sale, I buy a Jeep. So I'm like, I just bought a Jeep Rubicon. I can't buy a truck. So I'm kind of like upset about it. Like, oh, I ain't going to worry about it. You know, I'll, I'll do some other stuff. I won't think about it. And so uh, fast forward to around uh, September uh, yeah, it was September, somewhere in that, that area, time frame. I hit him up on Facebook. I said, "You still got my truck?" And uh, he said, "Yeah, I've got, I've got it. I've got a guy that uh, said he's going to put some money in my deposit, money in my account, but he hasn't done it yet. And uh, I'm just waiting on him to do that. And then, you know, it, we'll, we'll start the thing on that." And I was like, "So how long have you just been talking about doing it?" He said, "Oh, well, he's kind of, you know, dragging his feet on it and stuff. You know, he's been telling me for about a month or a month or two now." But I'm like. Well, that kind of aggravates me. You know, I, I don't want, uh, I mean, I, I really wanted that truck, but, you know, I, could, I said, I'll tell you what. I said, let me let me go to the bank and see what I can do. So I ended up going, uh, going to the bank and, you know, and I asked them, you know, what I could do about maybe refinancing my house. So uh, they instantly told me, oh, you're good to go. I'm like, really? Wow, okay. Uh, so I refinanced my house. And I told uh, Tim, I said, hey, if you can wait a little bit, I'll give you $1,000 more than what he would if you would just give me 30 days to do it. So fast forward, I got the truck. And I have never experienced anxiety in my life until I got about a week before. 
you're getting ready to get it. And I, my nerves are tore up. I'm like, I can't sleep, I can't eat, I can't do nothing, everything was going crazy. And so it's a, like a, a, a day and a half before we're getting ready to go. And I've got a, a trailer I borrowed, I got a truck lined up. Just like the day before, the truck that I was gonna borrow blew up. So I'm like, I'm screwed. <laughs> I have no way to go get this thing. And then I had a childhood buddy step up at the last minute and say, hey, my dad's got a truck that'll haul it. He said, we're going, we're going to jump in the truck. We left about eight o'clock uh, on uh, November 2nd, uh, 2017. And uh, we drove up and uh, we got there about uh, 5.45 in the morning, knocked on the door and uh, commenced to get in the truck. We loaded it up and I didn't realize how much attention that truck truly gets until I started uh, trailering it back from Maryland because I had people blow the horn, I had people looking, I had people phones come out, I had all kind of crazy stuff happening on the way back. And I realized that's gonna be a whole lot of fun whenever I get this thing dialed in. The scary part about it is whenever I was leaving uh, Tim's house to take it to where we were gonna load it up, we were gonna load it up in a parking lot near there because it didn't have enough room right there where uh, Tim lives. So me and Tim are in the truck and I'm driving and we're getting ready to cross the main highway. And it just as I start pulling off, um, the truck stalls off. And I don't mean it stalled off like as in it stopped for a second, you know, and I almost got it. I mean, it stalled off in the middle of the highway and traffic on the right side stopped, traffic on the left side stopped. And nobody was blowing their horns because I guess they were terrified that it was the sun was coming up and the creeper truck sitting right there blocking the road. I would probably wouldn't blow the horn either. But uh, so eventually I get the truck started. I go over there and we get the truck loaded up. But uh, I've had so much fun uh, showing the truck, going around. Uh, you know, everything started out as a hobby and I'm actually turning it in kind of uh, in, into a business now. I get to travel the country and show the truck. I had uh, uh, Justin Long and Gina Phillips up in Illinois at the Harhound Convention uh, last year. Uh, I, they got to be around the truck. I, um, <coughs> I got a bunch more stuff lined up before it's over with. Um, but I mean, a lot of people have asked, you know, how all this stuff, and I just figured I'd make this video talking about how everything transpired at this point. Uh, my newest addition is this. Uh, this is the screen used piece of makeup uh, from Jeepers Creepers Part 2. This is the Creeper. And the scene that this was, the Creeper was on top of a bus, and he's reached down, snatched his hand through it, and grabbed Bucky by the head. That was the character's name. And he starts pulling Bucky up. And they come running up with this javelin. And they start javel throwing the javelin up through the bus. And eventually they put it up through the creeper's eye. But this is actually the screen used. And I, I try to buy a few props here and there to so you whenever you come see the truck, whenever I'm out places, you know, you get, you know, you get, kind of get starstruck. Because, you know, whenever I seen the truck for the first time, it was just like that's that's the same experience I want everybody who comes to see me. You know, because whenever the truck's all set up with a flicker lantern going and everything, it's just, it's just, it's just really neat. And uh, like I said, um, everything yeah. happens for a reason. I've had, uh, I've had a lot of people pick on me over the years. Oh, you're gonna go do your spooky thing. If there's one thing that I can tell anybody that is doing, don't let anyone tell you there's something that you can't do. Anything that you want to do, you can put your mind you can put your mind to it and do it. You know, I wanted to get into the haunted attraction industry and you know, my, my goal is to basically travel the country and show the truck and I'm making that happen. Um, there's some more things in the future. Everybody keeps talking about Jeepers Creepers 4, Jeepers Creepers 4. Well, I could promise you it's not over. I can't talk about anything more than that. I can't talk about when, but I can let you know that uh, it's coming. You're just gonna have to be a little bit of patience. You know, every 23rd spring for 23 days, it gets to eat. And when did the first Jeepers Creepers movie come out? What, 2001? Hmm, the FBI says that might be a clue. Anyway, um, I think that is pretty good for this video. Um, like I said, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll make more videos. I've got some really cool ones coming up where um, the Creeper, excuse me, the Creeper's cousin. Oh, I haven't really even talked about the real reason why they call me the Creeper's cousin. So 
back whenever I was doing that, I got to where I was uh, doing a lot of email stuff back and forth with Jonathan Breck. Well, Jonathan is the creeper. I can't take his title. So most of the time he signed autographs and the autograph that he signed, let's see if I can pull it off and show it to you. The autograph that he signed, he signed it the creeper's cousin. So he, Jonathan Breck, actually gave me the nickname, the creeper's cousin. That's why I use it. So, but anyway, again, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you next time.